This seems like to be a pattern with you. It seems like anyone who comes out with um, you know, calling you out and is a detractor of yours, you automatically just insinuate or outright call a pedophile. It's like very Mama Max-esque. So Lazy Bedhead's boyfriend, you said this person was a pedophile as well? I've insinuated it to piss her off, yeah. Bad optics, but she's a cunt. <laughs> I, I mean, I almost respect it because of just how like unhinged it is. You're like, you know, this bitch is a cunt. I'm gonna call her boyfriend a pedophile. <laughs> you file, know. so your basis of filing a privacy complaint is whether or not you like someone or dislike them. Yeah, so you better watch out, right? You don't like them, you don't like what they're saying. You can obviously see the problem in filing a privacy complaint just because you don't like someone or like what they're saying, yeah. right? Correct. Yes, I can see. <laughs> you just fucking lie to my face in this conversation. Can you just like be straight up? I have to pull teeth, I have to get clips to show you saying things that live go against what you just said like two seconds ago and contradict your stories. What's up? Yo, hello, Hi. man. <laughs> Glad, good talking to you. Thank you, uh... Thank you for accepting the invites and coming on. Respect it a lot. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Amongst all the allegations surrounding your name. So, oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just pure fucking seething evil. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to ask me first? Because I already know this is going to be fucking hilarious. I'm already having fun and I just got on. All right. So um, first and foremost, I uh, want to just make like a quick statement saying um, <clears throat> basically prefacing what I want to go over in this conversation Saying just like, there's a lot of shit circling your name that I could ask you about, like the morals behind watching gore and exploiting it for content or money or whatever. And I know you used to un like send uncensored gore to your Patreons in like 2021, I'm pretty sure, if they paid for it. And of course, you know, I think that's weird as fucking degenerate, but um, I know you've responded to those specific things countless times at this point. And uh, even if I think you're a creepy, weird like guy that has spotty morals, personally don't think those are the most interesting questions to ask you. So I wanted to ask you and get uh, your responses on some of the more substantial things and allegations that I found to be, you know, the most damning talking of uh, people saying about you, surrounding you. So I just want to preface that off jump. And uh, first and foremost, about the Discord miner situation and the screenshot involving the furry butt plug necrophilia scat fetish general chat message to Cherry. <laughs> um, is this out of context? Can you explain this? Uh, the, the fucked up part is, I would totally believe that that was a shit post in my general chat, but it turns out the only thing that was said with like reactions and stuff by that Cherry individual on that day was something else and i can actually hold on i'm gonna pull up the screenshot of that real quick if you'd like um yeah it's the other message where you guys are talking about getting her mod like status taken away or the number one like yeah. hog or whatever the fuck like assistant mod pretty sure that, that was actually just a cosmetic role everybody had a bunch of shit like that they still there's a bunch of ones still there's even more now than there was then <laughs> Uh, she also wasn't like an actual moderator long before i started covering like gore content it was literally just shit post drama bullshit. Um, the Discord was public, and there was a bunch of gore actually and fucked up shit being posted while everybody was asleep. The only moderators are people I actually know, like actually know. So they are definitely adults. I gave roles to who people who were just online at different times, who were regularly in the Discord. Uh, they were able just to mute people, and we called it assistant mod. That was totally different. Okay, gotcha. And um, so, in regards to that message, you would totally believe that is real, though. So does that mean you've said Not things? Not as a, some crazy-ass DM, but it looks like a fucking shit post. so I don't know, man. Um, I, I mean, I'm, it's so, I mean, I don't know. You can take it or leave it on that one. So, um, so you said, but you're saying that you went back into the logs and you didn't find it? Yeah, it was, it turns out the only thing that was said uh, on that date like that by them... And in like context of that is the uh, other screenshot, which you say you have, right? Yeah, yeah I that. do have Thank it. You. Um, okay, so um, but you do think it's plausible for you to say something along those lines? Mm, just some stupid shit. Maybe not that extreme though. That's kind of fucking weird. Like it's also kind of conspicuously uh, stupid. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it has the necrophilia, it has furry butt plugs, and what is it, scat scat porn or something it said? Yeah, when I look at this message, I'm not necessarily thinking, like, damn, dude, this is absolute proof that Plague Moth is preying on minors or anything of the sort. I think that's a very right. bold... Yeah, I, I, I think that's a I very bold assumption. Um, at worst, 
what I would deem this is like being um, irresponsible, I guess, with your platform and the way you're talking into a Discord server that you know has miners in it. That's like yeah. the critique that, that I would, would give sense. here. That'd be, uh, that would be a oopsie. There we go. I <laughs> fucked up years ago if that were to be true. But hey, it turns out it's not. Okay, so you're saying you have no idea where that came from. You can't um, confirm that it's real or really uh, even deny because you said you were back. not real. Okay, you can confirm it's not real. Gotcha. Yeah, that the other it, it was clearly faked. Also, the because of the fact that um, private messages do not have roles, that was one thing. But if it was said in the general chat, like I said, the only thing that was said that day, uh, at that time, was the other screenshot about the whole assistant mob bullshit. Okay, so, but then um, something that caught my attention is that in the comment section of uh, your wife's community post, you then say, only time I say wild shit like that, that is in the general chat. So, what do you mean by wild shit? That's what I mean. It's just something like that. Like, I don't know. Hold on. I'm sure I said something even today. Lately, I just post, like, fucking gifts or whatever. Just nonsense. Which, <laughs> I got a Jimmy Neutron Bud Dwyer one. It's it's safe for work, though. I don't I feel- know. I don't just shit like i don't know how to explain that like shit like not shit like uh i don't know a rack of uh degenerate porn admissions though would you say sexually related things no but no something sexually like, related things no nah, not really i would say maybe uh something that could be like innuendo here or there but nothing like hey guys how's your theory on dick or something i don't fucking know dude that's sh- i'm not that fucking weird and but it's you would do those easy. they're all in my discord i'm sure they would have some actual screenshots if there was some real degeneracy which shout out to my pay pigs doing that but you, you really pay to be in the discord to watch me talk about bionicles and shit but now you're to my understanding your discord server is 18 plus but before you allowed all ages and and minors in your discord server as well and you would say if- things along these lines too this wild shit in that conversation, in those general chats with minors, correct? <laughs> no. Uh, the thing was, when the Discord was public, it's not like I'm going to ID everybody, but like, you know, cons- given that it topped out at 4,000, like 600 people, now that's actually what made us want to implement an ID, like, quote, adult section, which, by the way, didn't host any gore. There wasn't any of that in this. I, I-, I still don't understand that shit. Which... We can tap into that bullshit, but like, no, I just didn't sit there and go, are you a minor? Are you a minor? Like people who wanted to be, get the, like into the quote adult section could do that with, by proving that by, let me see what the sticker is. I we got literally a sticker. Yeah, we can here. I, I have a specific question asking about your checking system in regards to people getting into your discord server. And what you're, yeah. and what that is. So we'll get, we'll get to that later. Don't worry. I'll talk about that. Okay, cool. It's just, you can, I guess, um, you can imagine like. Why I find it hard to believe where you're saying like you wouldn't say other things along those lines that in the screenshots when like you were saying in the community posts that you said wild shit like that, which is in direct reference to you talking about the furry butt plug tail collection and scat fetish and necrophilia habits. So it's like when you say, yeah, I'm saying stuff like that, that the obvious implication is that you already do say stuff like that in general chat. You're just disproving that it was in a one on one DM, but you're. You find it like I find it hard to believe that you're saying you never said anything else sexually related in the general chat when you did make that statement, you know? I actually already literally ad- like addressed that with you a minute ago. Like I said, it, I just like nothing crazy fucking extreme. I don't understand. Yeah, what I'm I'm just I'm just saying I find it hard to b- believe, I guess, because you make yeah, one I statement and I'm saying something better else. in my wording through text. But like, do you I see my do you, do you see like how I could interpret it that way? Because you're saying wild oh, shit yeah, like is... that. And the like yeah, that you're referring point. to is sexual things in a chat with minors. Well. I don't think that. No, no, <laughs> that's baby as fuck only. But no, because this I'm, kind of I'm, shit. I mean, I'm not, not trying like to, it's your I words, very that's all. People being, you know what I mean? Like, I've already been aware and weary of people trying to take shit out of context, like, since I've started this, so I would wager that, no, I, I while, quote, minors are in the Discord, like, the phrasing there is pleasant, isn't it? Like, I get where you're going with that, but no. Well, I mean, I, I know it may sound baiting, it may sound like a gotcha, but basically, like, I'm just trying to spell it out one last time, is that there is this screenshot going around that that creepy reading 
leaked from you or says is real. And the screenshot is you talking about things in sexual nature to a minor in the general chat. You're talking about it in a general chat full of minors. And then you can obviously like imagine my surprise when I see you saying that you you say shit like that in the general chat as well. And you're the only um, problem and the only thing you're disproving is that you don't say it in DMs. But you say other shit like that in general chat. So I'm just trying to explain how these are potentially conflicting things. And uh, it's hard to believe, I guess, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, if I you mean, don't, I don't really no like... No further statement? Okay, we can move on to the next thing if you don't have anything else on that. <laughs> I mean, there, this whole where minors are, no. I, I like, especially like, what the fuck? No. Um, well, like I said, your Discord some... did used to have minors in it in 2021, correct? You yeah. allowed minors in it? I didn't like age check people, so yes, just like pretty much all Discords. Yeah, so you no, allowed so minors in it, and you're saying like you said stuff like this something. in general chat. That's all. That's all. That's that's the point I'm making. I'm sure you can understand my perspective. I'm sure it sounds baity, but it's pretty easy to understand. I mean, yeah, I guess so, but nothing uh, has been said that has been. I would say sexual in that nature. I'm only saying that I really, I don't know, I don't keep a log of every like shit post or meme, but I've always been very aware of myself and I'm not that fucking weird where I gotta be like, oh, I know there's children in here. Let me make sure I say something highly sexual. It's okay. pretty fucking um, stupid, especially since I haven't seen any proof of this actually happening. Well, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up because with the proof, I wanted to ask because. Just for a question for clarification, why did you clear all of your general chat messages? Because that could be even more suspicious. You would find it even more surprising when you're saying you haven't seen proof, but you cleared all your general chat messages in your Discord. So why did you do that? Well, plenty of Discords do that like every week. I know that much. Most other threads didn't get nuked in any capacity. General chat's been removed a few times based on uh, raids, trolling. Uh, there's been people talking like wild shit when they join. Like, just things like that. Things that we did not want. So, did you watch... Did you, I mean, did your Discord have a scheduled thing? Because I know other Discords in the past have a scheduled thing where it's every week they delete the general chat. Just to clear up and just to make sure that it's like, you know, they clear it out. Did your Discord ever have any scheduled general chat, chat cleaning messages... Um, of the messages? Yeah, every few months we do it. It's not a set schedule, but that's just me. I'm the administrator of the Discord, and I decide when the fuck I want to do it, to be honest. So it wasn't Basically, scheduled. My moderator asked me shit to not step on my toes nicely. So it wasn't scheduled, but you would say, and other people could back you up as testimony, saying that you did clear out your chat every month or so. For what reason? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, We're for also a... never a gore Discord. Yeah, here, we can get that in two in a second. But for what reason did you clear out it every month or so? Basically, just to keep it fresh, keep it away from being fucking weird and taken out of context. Because, like I said, uh, this kind of shit's been going on for years. It's kind of pathetic. To keep it fresh and take, make sure it doesn't get taken out of context? Well, wouldn't you want to keep the messages to make sure that the context is there? Because what we have in our hands right now is that you deleted all of the chat messages, so now no one can even go back to see the context. So you're actually like, yeah, creating that problem up. for yourself where now people can take things out of context because you deleted all the logs. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. I guess so. But I'm still confused at where the accusation is towards my general chat. Yes. Why is that relevant? What does that mean? Like, what does it fucking matter? Um, it's just curious. And I think um, it's worth bringing up because it potentially a lot of people Why? are saying that you are you, you clear the general chat to cover it up. And apparently... Cover what up? To cover up your messages that you were saying in the general chat that potentially could be you like sexual. That there was over four thousand people in there. What, what? What would? How would anything be covered up? Well, you would I'm likely sorry. delete them. That's there, what there was thirteen hundred active at the time, like active daily, thirteen hundred yeah. to sixteen hundred. What? What would be covered up? Well, what you said earlier, where you said you say wild shit like that in general chats. And conveniently, at the same time, something I've also been told is that didn't you clear your general chat at like the same time when that creepy reading started beefing with you and started pulling up screenshots from your chat? No, I don't believe so. You don't believe so. So you can go on record. And if anyone else finds proof showing otherwise, then you'd be able to retract that statement and admit that you were lying, I guess, or forgot. 
Yeah, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we cleared around that time. We might have. Because so you might have. I, you know, I probably would say we did. So you I'm did. I'm sorry. It was like it was like what March of fucking last year. So my bad here. Yeah, we probably did. And so it's because on, like okay, you go on record saying that you did. And what was the reason why? Yeah, because I I don't really remember. So I I believe I did. You don't and remember? And that'd be because like I said, I'm not exactly the brightest i guess with the out of context shit there because you're right if i would have uh thought that a little bit better uh we could have gotten more chat logs of shit a lot of the ones have already been downloaded and supposedly been used against me like i have yet to see anything can you tell me the reason why you cleared your general chat at that convenient time same reason i always have before otherwise you know than keeping it fresh it's just people worried about people taking weird shit out of context as they already have but so worried like, about that creepy kind of reading so worried about yeah that creepy reading taking stuff out of context yeah because it was already being problematic also i couldn't have predicted it to kind of blow up <clears throat> excuse me blow up like this okay um Okay, I just wish you would have came up because <laughs> I want to take your word for it, but I wish you would have came out with that statement initially because it just makes you a little bit more suspicious. You didn't say that up front, but instead you just well, said Well, I no. didn't address it at all, if you notice, prior because it's fucking stupid. It's literally like the like, I don't understand what am I like what the, again? I don't think it's entirely stupid because imagine this. You're painting this picture where that creepy reading starts calling you out and starts leaking messages from your general chat that looks suspicious of you talking about sexual things in a chat with minors. And then at that convenient same time, you then decide to wipe clean all of the general chat messages. I feel like that's important and that could be used as circumstantial evidence to show that something suspicious is going on here, that you could be covering it up. You could see that perspective, Inter right? If that's circumstantial evidence and that someone believes, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just piling thing after thing on how it potentially could be serious. That's why I wanted to have a conversation with you to see if you could clear up any of these things. I mean, I'm still trying to understand what is there to clear up about, like, the general chat. Like, I don't... I well, don't we just, well, we just it. went over it, of you potentially having sexual... Conver not conversations with minors, but sexual conversations and making sexual remarks in the general chat with minors. That you know that you knowingly knew that minors were in there. Well, I know that's not the case because of, I mean, and here we go again. Uh, this supposed screenshot comes from 2021. We're now in 2024. I would imagine somebody by now, especially g given that they've been paying to be in my Discord uh, since the Patreon days, uh, someone would have something. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a fair point. I'm not saying this is incriminating, I'm saying it's just worth bringing up as circumstantial to potentially you know, paint some kind of narrative to paint some kind of story. And that's why I just want to get both sides here. Cause I talked to other people about it that are going against you. And I want to talk to you to get your side. That's all basically. I just have my questions. Um, and, uh, was hoping that you would have like a schedule, but it seems like, um, not really like a schedule you had just like a few months to clear up so that no one would take stuff out of context. That was your explanation. But, yeah, um, I also do like discord purges like that too. It's just spontaneous. We also purged uh, well, everyone I mean, who didn't have an active subscription to well, I mean, uh, <laughs> for that very reason to to vent people out because it was just so chaotic and terrible. I mean, I hear you guys saying it's like spontaneous, but I find it uh, again. I just find it hard to believe because you did say specifically just now that the reason you did clear your general chat at that time is because you didn't want that creepy reading taking contact, uh, taking messages out of context to try to paint you out in a bad light. That was specifically the reason why you did it. Right. That's what you just said. So it wasn't just spontaneous. You're talking about one individual incident, yeah? Yeah, that's... Well, okay, I'm just so repeating what you just said. Day, but you're trying to insinuate that I do that on a regular for whatever reason? Well, that's what you said. You said you uh, like to clear it out to make sure that it doesn't get like stuffed up or whatever and that things are safe and also that people don't take it out of context. That's like your statement. Yeah, but we did. It wasn't just that either. We cleaned out members. We changed the whole structure of how the discord works and looks and added new channels and everything. So again, there's nothing wrong with deleting a general chat. I can go back and quote you reaming sly, uh, not slime beast. I'm sorry. Uh, Cuck Raven for the same thing. Um, yeah, I'm just saying it looks suspicious that can be like around the same time while people are accusing you that you would like delete the general chat evidence. But I'm sure you understand that and you understand how that could look bad. 
it's like, you know, you start calling out a company for a potentially like you know, incriminating files, I guess, for an example. And then the minute that someone comes out with their story of that company, they then fucking delete all the files and shred them all into nothing. That's like, obviously, that's going to be a bad look. That's the point. But um, yeah, if you don't have anything further on that, we can move on to the next thing. I wanted to ask you, what is the context of the clip where you say, dude, I talk to five year olds like that. I educate everyone on necrophilia. Which people oh. are saying this was your response to being confronted with the cherry general chat message. Was this your response to it? No, it was response to uh, because that was the same night that Cold Raven went on his coked out uh, live stream thinking I was talking to him via my live stream. So his fans were coming over and spamming crazy shit like that about uh, me being a predator, uh, something about necrophilia. And I sarcastically gave that comment and I really it, it's literally just edgy nonsense. I don't understand again. Yeah. Like what? What does that prove? I'm yeah, this is one of the lesser piece of evidences that I disagree with mainly your detractors on is because it's literally a six second clip. You know, it's clip chimp to all fucking hell. We don't know the full context. And then they like um, blame you for like deleting it. Um, where did you delete that live stream? I actually uh, private all of my live streams. You do. And that all is something them. that's like you can prove and that is scheduled because that would back yep. up. Okay. There's only, I think, uh, two live streams, maybe, uh, that have ever been like, that are actually like posted enough. One is me playing Chrono Trigger for a while, and then one was just a really good stream I had, and I put it on my premium pages. Okay. But I, I can't even recall another time that I've ever posted one of my live streams up and but, kept um, it up. Just for, I guess, your sake, if you want to clear up that, because that's a clip that's going along, uh, going out about you. Um, I think it would be in your best interest to probably release like the full context of whatever that statement is just to make sure that it's not anything poor. Because if you still have the content, you still have it privated. Just like I would put up an archive post, just making sure of that. I think that would be in your best interest. So people like Cold Raven are taking that and uh, really using it against you. Yeah, that's actually some good advice. So I'll do that. I can get that easily. That's nothing. Yeah. It's also just, again, like, <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. So, I mean, hey. Yeah, and also uh, it would clear up. Do you want to move on from this, or do you want to still go into this somehow? Um, no, I was just gonna make one last statement on this. I was gonna say like, and also because they're using this as like, uh, they're saying that this was your re this was your response to being confronted with that DM of you saying that you have like a scat fetish and necrophilia habits. So mm. I would be really interested to see that side too, because I hope that wasn't what your response was to that DM, because that could be, like, I guess, incriminating to you again and make you look more guilty. So. Looking forward to that if you do decide to do that. Um, but next, I want to move on to uh, just asking you just straight up. Has there ever been an instance where you've knowingly sent gore to a minor? Nope. That's never happened once. Okay. And as all the gore you've sent to people, have you checked to make sure they're 18 plus? The thing about that and I need that needs to be elaborated on is I've never, quote, sent anybody anything now. I know it's a technicality, but the only thing that has happened was have you seen any of my content or are you aware of it at all the more uh face cam reactionary uh, kind of content that i do because i do a couple things um a little bit keep going yeah okay so it was like those type of videos but uncut like they were just unblurred that was it um those were available on patreon through 2021 and then in that year they took that down and told me, you know, I got to rebuild my Patreon. I can't do that anymore, et cetera, et cetera. So I complied. Um, but no, there was no like, quote, gore mixtapes or gore actually like sent to somebody just like raw material. That's fucking weird to me. So you've I never sent gore. In... You've never sent gore to anyone? No. Like, no, people, I guess people are saying that. Well, I... disturb reality technically. So I'm sorry. We've we've like shown each other a couple of videos. Does that count? Or are you talking about like people are saying that you've sent emails to people with gore? Oh, that's fucking wild. I'd love to see that. So you can go on record saying no, you've never done that. You've never sent any gore to anyone one on one specifically. No, I have not. Again, like I said, disturb reality. Like pe like actual okay. content creators in the field like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Then um, real but, quick, just like clarification, what was that like um, dynamic, I guess you had with Patreon where people would pay you for the full like gore video? What was that about? No, like that's what I was trying to say is they would just uh, they would just sign up for the Patreon and that was already marked 18 plus. And they had the option to watch, by the way, heavily marked in like warning 
uncensored videos of mine. Like I said, it was just the analytic content, but with no blur. It's not like a full screen thing. I mean, I'm on screen. Again, it's still morally wrong. I get that. But again, I was already fucking punished for it. We've moved on on life. I, I don't Okay, understand. so you never, gotcha. So you've never sent it to anyone, but you had it like on your Patreon. Like for a specific In that price. context, yeah. Okay. And did you allow like minors to see that? No, absolutely not. If I found out that anybody was actually accessing anything via the Patreon like that, uh, they would be. Re you can block people on Patreon and report it. That's okay. the kind of shit well, I would do. What is uh? If you found out, I mean that's a little bit of an ambiguous like statement. Did you check to make sure they're eighteen plus? So the only reason there would still continue uh continue to be uh minors in the Discord again one, I I don't sit there and ask fucking everybody. But if, let's say, somebody did get through the Patreon, uh, and then they come in, like, the Discord that way, and they have a profile that says their age like that, or they say something, you know what I mean? They have to, you can't just, uh, accuse somebody for no reason unless you actually have something, some form of fucking evidence there. But typically, anything fucking weird, anything even insinuating they could be a minor, they would, they would be booted. Because the general area and shit was just what it was, I kept people as, like, legacy members. But you but didn't, like, check. Activate. Like, there was no, like, ID system through, like, a Discord where they had to message you, like, the ID. ID. For every uh, thing that was 18 plus, yeah. Oh, you Other did? Than that, I oh, I thought... Oh, why, why wouldn't you say that from the jump? Wait, I feel like that would be your first I, response. I did, I said it earlier. Okay, so they... Uh, so, to see your Patreon, to see the uncensored gore, just for clarification again, they had to send ID to you proving they're 18. To go through the Patreon, no. They would have to get by with however the method of age screening for Patreon is. That's so, not my responsibility, just okay, like it's not okay. my responsibility. Okay, to sorry, you're, like, you're confusing me a little bit. So you're saying, no, but the Patreon. It's Patreon's responsibility on whether or not they vet the person for 18+. plus. I'm sorry, that kind of, what? That kind of cut out for me. Um, so you're saying, okay, sorry. So you're saying that it's Patreon their responsibility to make sure if they're 18 plus like it wasn't you that specifically did it It was patreon to access uh the patreon itself and shit bad and showing their date of birth but they have to block out their you know their other shit they also have to be holding up a tag that says their discord id oh sorry um i apologize For one second the stream just went down momentarily it's gonna go uh obs like right back up it does this sometimes oh. So just waiting out a little bit. Um, we should be back. Let me just spam refresh. <laughs> Spencer ate the stream. It was me. <laughs> I cursed it. I fucking went. I uh, I struck it. Yeah. Yep. Totally. All right, guys. We should be back. We should be back. We should be back. Are we good? Sending us to the dark web to the fucking <laughs> shadow realm. Okay, we back. We back, dude. It's back up. Okay, gotcha. All right, great. So um, okay. To uh, pick up where we left off. So you're saying that. There was ID system where they had to show their ID to get into like the Discord server of like the 18 plus section or whatever to understand it. So gotcha. Now um, I wanted to um, ask you a couple questions about that specifically in the, and the contents of that. So, uh, so I've just written down, you used to let people of all ages in your server and also had a specific 18 plus section to your Discord, right? Uh we added the 18 plus section as my content evolved, started dipping into we, uh, more topics that revolved like, I didn't cover gore the way I did. I talked about it going like, uh, going on TikTok and shit like that. But that's when I decided to implement that. It was still an open discord. So like I said, we didn't like sit there and worry about it because everything that would have been considered not safe for work or 18 plus would have been put over in the section that was ID walled. Gotcha. So, um, what was that 18 section for? 
literally just to make people who are actually like adults feel more comfortable i guess that was one of the reasons i can go over there now hold on and even see some of the threats because they're still up was there any Art. sexual related things i don't think so no oh wait yeah there is we got a couple things <laughs> we got adult promotion and shit like that a lot of this came later too dude but i want to i want to believe i, I want to believe you man but i'm just i keep thinking this you're not really helping your case i feel like you say something at first but then like later on like you've been in this discord for a while now i mean you would know immediately if there's sexual things right why not just say that off front i literally had to go look and think about it because okay. i don't live on discord gotcha That's, all right so but again um, like i said to access any of that Selfie with your face, holding your ID with your Discord ID, showing your date of birth. I'm pretty sure there's no minors getting through that. And again, there was no gore hosted there. Okay, so... Um... There was messages with... Actually, take that back. If you want to get, like, crazy technical, back in 2021, there were, uh, in the 18 plus section, they were linked, uh, some of the uncensored videos. And they were marked again and stuff like that. Because gotcha. I guess people were having trouble uh, just going on there uh, through the Patreon links and shit. Like, BitChute was fucking weird. I don't use BitChute anymore, though. Um. Okay, so uh, something I want to ask you about is that that creepy reading apparently says that he was able to get into your Discord without any checks, that he was 18. How would you respond to that? He was able to get into the, what, like, the general chat and shit? The regular normal shit yeah but again that's patreon's terms of service and however they vet people to be 18. so i have all my links does that I'm actually matter when they're not content. accessing anything that is to the patreon, 18 plus to or patrons, um, even lewd directly to your or email. once they were be like if any incident happened where someone would be outed so to speak for being a minor they would immediately be removed anyway Okay. Um, if you the don't accusation, it's very str sorry. The accusation is strange because they act like everybody was like fucking stamped with uh, the phrase minor on their forehead or something. Like there was only a few people that actually fucking sat there and uh, like announced themselves and got booted. And there's people that left a long time ago too. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, could you have my screen share real quick? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Quick little thing about the emails thing. Um, someone just sent some, this oh to me God. of apparently you saying that you do actually send one-on-one -on -one gore to people's emails. But we're going to have a lot of fun. I can't hear the audio. Hold on. I have all my... You can't hear oh, the it's audio? It's on my end. No, it's on my end. Sorry. Go ahead. You good? Yep. Links. So I've been giving uh, uncensored content can't be posted to the Patreon. I give it to two tier patrons um, directly to your email. I tried to continue the uncut content, but was quickly smacked down on that too. That was the same. That was like literally the same month I got my ass kicked by Patreon, and it stopped then too. Well, why did you just tell oh. me then that you've never sent gore one on one to someone? Because I didn't. It was accessible for people on the Mega Drive, which is connected through the Patreon. Didn't you just say directly that you that emailed them directly the gore? It was an attempt thing to do, but it didn't work. They had to just be linked the Mega Drive through Patreon, which I thought was okay, but again, was not. An attempt <laughs> thing? Patreon told me that was not cool. An attempt thing? I mean, it's pretty one-to-one, -one, man. You just told me that you've never sent one-on-one -on -one gore directly to someone, and I get sent a clip of you saying that you have directly sent gore through an email to people if they're a certain tier on Patreon. In that stream, that was what I was trying to do, but could not do. Is, and it's not sending people gore, like I said. It's just my content. Or was my content. Well, wasn't your content and gore? what I ended up doing was posting the link on Patreon, where the people could access it again, who would be vetted by Patreon. So you're saying you in this stream you said you tried to do it, but you never actually did it? Yeah, this was like... I do a lot of uh, streams where I talk about things I'm going to do and stuff like that. Some of them don't pan out. I, I was actually planning at one point, yeah, offering mixtapes and shit. Never followed through with it. Kind of felt like after a while getting into it, it was really fucking weird how everything was anyway. 
I'm still glad I don't do uncensored content anymore. It's um, If you don't mind, I'm just going to play the clip one more time. Yep. We're going to have a lot of fun. I have all my links, so I've been giving uh, uncensored content can't be posted to the Patreon. I give it to two tier patrons um, directly to your email. So you're talking about content. You're saying this content wasn't gore? No, I'm saying this content wasn't implemented yet. Like that method would never actually got oh, well, implemented. Well, you just said Ma to me that it, the content I wasn't gore. You said it was your content, but it wasn't gore. But now I, you're what is being okay? What is being implied is that I have all these clips of gore, right? And it's just being sent to people. Like I said, it was my uncensored videos of myself, my content. And this was me talking about what I was trying to do. Now, what happened, honestly, is I couldn't figure out a mass email thing to send a Mega Drive to over 3,000 fucking people. Okay, I understand. You're just saying basically that you didn't do it. You thought about doing it. You said on live stream that you were going to do it, but you didn't end up doing it. So there's, if anyone comes out with a direct email from you of, them sent, of you sending them one-on-one -on -one your content, Gore, then what, you, you think that that's not going to come out? You would just go on record saying that's not going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, I guess we'll just, time will tell, I guess. Um, but that's what you're saying. Um, so uh, where do we go from there? So um, the creepy reading thing with him getting an 18, um, you talked about that wasn't specifically the 18 section. And you already talked about the precautions that you take to make sure minors that don't get in their server. And they have to show their ID, correct? And, and a face. Hello? He was not able to get into the Discord? Or wait, what did he say he was able to get into the 18 plus section without an ID? Um, apparently, yeah. Yeah, no way in fucking hell. So you just deny that claim. So if he shows proof of him getting into your 18 plus sections... You, you're, you would be, go on record saying that wouldn't happen. He would have to prove that it was him. I'm sure there's screenshots of the 18 plus section. In fact, I know there is. Okay. Well, um, then, uh, all right. That then, would mean we have his ID, literally a picture of him holding up his discord ID and his legal ID. Okay. Or someone would have had to receive that at some point. You're saying and no, nothing got through the cracks. He went on stream saying that never happened because he didn't trust people. At least I think so. Or it was via Twitter or something that he doesn't trust people. Uh, you know, he wouldn't trust me with his ID. And you're saying there's no way he would slip through the cracks. No, because we don't let people slip through the cracks. We have people okay. get, uh, fucking vetted through their ID because that's what you do. It's to protect my own ass. And, you know, that's fucking weird. I don't want people accessing that. You can think it's weird. To say that's weird coming from me, but yeah, I have my own morals too. Okay. Even if they're not, you know. So um, that moves on from the Discord minor situation. Next, I want to talk about Daisy's destruction. So uh, in 2021, you said in your Discord that you accidentally saw a part of Daisy's destruction on 4chan years ago. That's correct, right? Yep. Okay. And uh, can you explain in detail what exactly you viewed and the process and how you viewed it? Uh, going through, uh, B, going through rec threads and shit like that. Yeah, looking for gore. Going, uh, through that kind of shit. What I saw was apparently what is being called, like, the trailer. So what I thought was, you know, it was going to turn into something and I got the fuck off of the site. I didn't know about the case or anything until much later in my, uh, YouTube career, so to speak. So I didn't even know what the fuck I was about to see other than what the text was describing to me. So you were on some gore website. Wait, is no. that what you, is that what you, uh, what did you just say? What was that website you referred to as? Dude, I was on B. What is B? 4chan, it's fucking B, random. Oh, sorry, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not that familiar. Okay, so 4chan, also B. <laughs> I didn't know it was referred to as that. But, um. No, the, ra okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> just part of 4chan. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so, um. And so you, you're saying you viewed the trailer. Yeah, and I can link you that. That's up on fucking YouTube. There's nothing <laughs> please, illegal please. in it. I, I, I take your word for it. You don't have to send it to me. Um, it's been on 60 Minutes Australia where they interviewed the sick fuck and everything. Okay. And can you, um, so you're saying you viewed the trailer. 
Can you explain the process and how you viewed it, though? Like, was it through a link? No. Did you have to download it? Was, it? it was No, it was hosted on there. Probably like a web. Um, like I said, or because it was 2019. Something like that. It probably would have to be like a web. Um, I didn't know what it was, but I saw like, so you'd have to actually have context there and understand what the text and everything says. Okay. But it, there's nothing illicit in it. So it was on, it was just on the fucking online, on the, yeah, on the platform. Also, you don't well, have to download like it or and, anything. I didn't sit there and finish it either. Once I realized what the, like, what the fuck was, what I thought was about to happen. I still don't know if it was like the actual thing or just that. What I saw was the quote trailer part, that fucking text, that creepy shit. But that was it. I have common sense to understand like, oh, that's something fucking crazy. Get the fuck out. Yeah, and uh, the reason I asked this is because I'm pretty sure there was a popular video by, uh, yeah, it was uh, Scare Theater who made a video saying that, or another people were saying that you would have to have downloaded it to view it. That's according to Scare Theater, yes, which you already went over that as well. It's kind of a weird, piss poor thing that he had like inside access to this file, everything else. Also, mind you, uh, a lot of people I noticed too, I don't really fuck around with. Uh, responding to the shit post in chat, but people are asking how I I recreated the trailer for my uh, documentary. Uh, I didn't recreate anything. I took the sixty minutes footage, zoomed in, did a pan scroll, and uh, I think added a shitty like filter on it. Okay, because people, because I guess there's a lot of people uh, now. I haven't confirmed this to be um, true, but they're saying that at this time, when you would have said you viewed it, you would have to download it to see it. But you just outright deny that straight up. Yeah, because there's actually no evidence to say you would have to download on one link or anything like that. Okay. I've made documentaries on the case, and I could tell you the clip was shortly shared everywhere before Scully was even arrested. And that was because he tried to commercialize shit and he ripped people off, including other pedophiles, and it pissed them off. So much like people leaking like Patreon content and other shit like that, they leaked his weird shit. Okay. It's not like, unfortunately, it's not some mythological fucking crazy thing. It was thought to be an urban legend. Okay, so you're saying it's that fucking... you, you just came by it by accident. Your same statement you said about 4chan. Well, in your conversation mm -hmm. with Slime Beast on stream... You said you never watched it. And he even clarifies again after you say that and asks you once more that he says verbatim. So you never watched it by accident on 4chan years ago. And you say, nope. What happened there? Because I didn't watch Daisy's Destruction. What I, and his wordplay bullshit. Have you checked out his channel? He says me admitting to watching Daisy's Destruction is me shutting him up because he's such a fucking spurg at the age of 50. Where he has to go like, you watch it? You watched it? You watched it? And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, okay. Like, that's, that's, I, too fuck, man. If that's concrete evidence, send the feds. Do you mind if we watch through the clip real quick? Just in one minute. Clip. I would prefer if you did. Okay, sounds good. Um, let me quickly zoom out my OBS a little bit. And, uh, all right, here we go. Oh, do, have you ever seen Daisy's Destruction, Christopher? Have you ever seen Daisy's Destruction? No, I have not, thank do God. Do you know what it is? No, you have. Do you know what it is? Yeah, you have seen it. No, no, do you know what it is? You have seen it, by the way. Okay, sure. Do you know what it is, Christopher? Yeah, he has watched it, chat. Do you know? The answer is no. Do you know? I watched it. What I... Daisy's destruction is? How'd you watch it if you didn't have it? The Did you? I know. Oh my God. I know, man. It's so sad. This is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How tall are you? Five six, Pedo? How'd you watch it if you didn't? I never watched it. I never had it. You said you watched it. You said yeah, you have. What the? Fuck? Oh my god. So you're, saying that you, you're saying that you never... You do know there's hundreds of witnesses. I know you've never seen a turnout more than 10 on any of your posts, but you do know that there's witnesses here. This is being recorded right now. At the risk of appealing to chat, everybody heard you say, yeah, you did. Okay. Anyway, why do you know what this... Okay, do you... No, I've never had it in my life. Nope. Okay, so you didn't accidentally watch it on 4chan nope. years ago. And my tweet actually doesn't say that either, or does the Discord thing. You're trying to manipulate things that have been correct. So that's a clip. He asks you, clarifies again, so that you've never watched on accident 4chan, and you just say no. Yeah, that's to avoid his fucking wordplay bullshit. Not, I shouldn't word it as wordplay. I should word it as, like, disabled screen capping. Because, I don't know, that was his concrete proof that I've watched uh, CSAM, so, I mean, hey. Well, I mean, like, you could see how this looks really bad on you, correct? 
No. And that you have conflicting stories because you're saying That's you didn't not watch a it. Story. Well, yeah, I have not watched Daisy's Destruction. I've watched what's on 60 Minutes. So no. Watched what's on 60 Minutes. Is that the trailer? Or is that yes. like the CNN thing or whatever that other thing? I don't was? know who's been saying CNN. Oh, that was Slime Beast. Maybe he got that wrong, but um, probably so, dementia usually sets in around 50. But <laughs> so you can see, but how it's a little bit disingenuous for you to say outright. Nope. So you, because he asks you and clarifies like he's referring directly to your statement of you saying that you watched on accident on 4chan years ago and you just outright say nope. I feel like, you know, that statement was already corrected after that. And he was only referring to that to try to obviously manipulate bullshit like the guy tries all the time. Why wouldn't you I just not seen Daisy's destruction? So why wouldn't you just clarify those saying like, nope, I didn't watch the actual thing. I watched the trailer. I feel like that would like saved you so much headache. So it makes me like, I wonder. guess, but I also fucked with him the whole stream and didn't give him the respect and didn't feel I needed to clarify to the level of someone on the spectrum. Well, um, people are also bringing up that you didn't say the trailer on Discord, too. You just said uh, because part I didn't of know exactly what it was at the time. All right. I really had to actually like make a fucking documentary and do homework on this whole thing to realize what the fuck's going on. And I included that in my trailer because it's fucking gross that the, what this man did. And I think people should know about it. All right, though. So um, that concludes the minor discords and uh, the day's destruction. So hopefully the worst is behind us. <laughs> But uh, next, I want to get into the pedo allegations that you've levied at multiple other people. So real I've... quick, I'm going to put where is it? That uh, you don't have to go over that now. What it's that one twelve, one minute, 12 seconds. Um, what is this? What I saw and what I included. Oh, in my I'm own... good. I'm good. I'm you didn't. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not going to open it... that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I guess. Okay, moving on. Moving on, though. Okay, so the pedo allegations things that you've levied at multiple people. I wanted to ask you about this. I've heard you called Slime Beast a child rapist and pedophile, that creepy reading, Lazy Bedhead's boyfriend a pedophile, as well as saying Cold Raven had sexually charged conversations with minors. Um, uh, no, not minors. You did. You kind of implied that, but you didn't outright say that. You did say sexually charged conversations with people that he might have not checked the ages with. Um, on Discord and Instagram, and as well, Scare Theater for downloading Daisy's Destruction. Um, now, I haven't had the time to look into all of these specific cases that in depth, but I just wanted to know and ask what your basis is for these accusations one by one, starting off with uh, Slime Beast. I was trying to groom all of them. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, but I'm being That's serious. Though. <laughs> this is retarded. Okay, starting off with Slime Beast, because these are pretty okay. serious things you're saying. You called him a child rapist and pedophile. Um, Did I really? Do you want to pull it up? Nah, could... If you got it, you got it. I probably did. I've called him a lot of shit, just like he's called me a lot of shit. Now I do believe and I will stand by the fact that he's a pedophile. Okay. So what is your justification? I did. Oh, God, it's a lot of shit. This dude has like a fucking rabbit hole. But I did a uh, my own independent little investigation. I had people tip me off about him. I talked to quite a few content creators, including Nightmind, about him. And it turns out that he had contact with this girl who I, I believe she was 13 at the time. And he had he continued these uh, flirtatious conversations. Now, technically, sure, on the surface, they're not sexual. But I think anybody who is of his age talking to a 13 year old up until she's 18. And also, I don't know what everybody's stance on Lollicon is, but I do believe that should be pretty fucking gross. He also saved that at the time, too. So he saved That's linked in the I have that video up on my channel and has all that bullshit too. It's just like 20 20 minutes. So that's your evidence to show that he's a pedophile. Yeah. That he was How old was he when he was talking to the 13-year-old? I believe he was 26. I I got to go back and look. It's been a while. And why was he talking to the 13-year-old? I presume you've seen the conversations. What were they talking about? They were public. Uh hold on. They were public. It was like comments. Dude, this shit was a deviant art of all the cringiest shit. So it wasn't even an individual DM with this girl. It was just public. Well, yeah. If you want to get... Hold on. Oh, I gotta go through so many screenshots of this fucking weirdo. I got him labeled through here. There's just a lot. Okay. 
given the guy can't stop posting every three seconds. I know you're in the chat, weirdo. Oh, shit. That might be on my phone. Take all the time you need. It's okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, there is fucking shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry this is taking so long. No, it's all good. Um, is this the th is this the what is this about? So I know Slime Beast made a response video to you asking about this and like responding to the allegations that he's a pedophile. And uh, do you know what this image is? Are it's you in screen, screen, hold on. It's in screen share. Oh, I didn't join my back. I was looking for that thing. Do you know what this image is? Yes, it was the quote subject of the photograph that was on the account. So is this the 13 year old? This was one of the photos he liked. It was from the 13-year-old that she took. Okay, so this is one of the photos he liked. But, um, I mean, what, what is this supposed to prove? Is this a 13-year-old girl? I actually, I actually can't tell, is it? I would say she's definitely not an adult. Um, so this is the 13-year-old he was talking to as well, publicly. Actually, I was... Hold on. Yeah. It is. Okay. I actually uh, dug some, did some digging, dug some digging. Um, because block. Slime Beast says this person is an adult. You Crazy, wanna... because I was able to find information uh, from her fucking Facebook that shows otherwise. <laughs> um, okay, and he you also... can Google the name from her Deviant Art. It's not like some fucking like scheme. And also, uh, he pulls up this as the apparent. Is this the saved Lollicon? Censored? Yes. Yes. And this is supposed to prove he's a pedophile? Okay, so... If someone's beating off to that or fucking saving that, you would say that that's not fucking gross or pedophilia at all? I mean, man, I, if you want to say, Come like, on. oh, creepy, gross, but I think I have a much higher bar for calling someone a fucking pedophile and child rapist. I mean, yeah, the child rapist thing was me being a dick, but fucking pedophile, uh, yeah. <laughs> you were being a dick when you called someone else a child rapist? That's just, is that something you just do? No, not really. I, I was also called a, 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 a child molester by Slime Beast as well. He also insinuated that I diddle my own children. So, I mean, oh okay, no. Okay, we, we can get to that later. I'm just, if, it's, if you think it's an eye for an eye type thing. But I, quickly, I wanted to play like his explanation if you're fine with that. Sure. He then showed a drawing of a demon girl. Again, this was one favorite out of 500. The funny thing is that this is a self-portrait of the adult female artist. She drew this of herself. If he actually thought they were illegal images, why would he show them on his stream? So, like, and, and to add, like, insult to fucking injury, it wasn't just, like, some fucking random, like, fucking person. It was, like, the actual artist. She was just drawing, like, a portrait of herself, I guess it sounds like. I mean, champ, sure, man. Like, call it weird. Call it whatever you want. If you want to call it, like, degenerate, I, I don't, it doesn't, I don't, it really doesn't, doesn't concern me. But pedophilic? Evidence to show he's a pedophile? I mean, get the fuck out. Have you, like, what's your actual stance on Lollicon? If I, I'm not getting to my stance on Lollicon. I think if you jerk off the fucking Lollicon I think porn, a, I think then you're a pedophile. Relevant for bias if you jerk I mean, off, dude, if you jerk off to porn of fucking minors, it's a pe you're a pedophile. That's my stance. If you jerk off okay, to so porn you, that is you minors, would say, you would also go on to say that Lollicon's not in any form or shape pedophilia. Well, it's depicting minors, so yeah, there would be absolutely. So if it's depicting a naked minor. What would you call that? Is this depicting a naked minor? I know that's not depicting a naked adult. Typically, I, a, you know, an dude. adult uh, 
doesn't have the body frame of what the fuck age would that even be? Maybe uh, dude, I don't. Remote? Yeah, typically fucking people also don't like fucking have wings. This is my take on this is that this isn't enough evidence to show he's a pedophile. It's just straight up. That's it. And I don't know. Like I find it really surprising that this would be enough evidence. But it, it, disregarding no, I that, because I think this is basing it on that either. Okay, if you weren't fully basing on that, then let's hear your other arguments. So what is this, this about the thirteen year old? Because apparently you're telling me that sh he didn't even have sexual conversations with this 13-year-old. I'm actually trying to pull up those. I went back to... I have to go, which I am going back to my phone doing that. I have so much on this dude. It I mean, help if I actually fucking named it. But I actually got... Um, I don't know if this is a coincidence. I mean, it's probably a coincidence. They created their profiles around the same time. I don't think they actually have, like, real-life contact. I don't fucking know or care. But... I mean, dude, you're calling this guy a fucking pedophile because he had public conversations with a 13-year-old and they weren't even sexual. Like, do you see? <laughs> this is pretty retarded, man. Hello? I'd, I would say they're flirtatious, but I mean, if... Flirtatious? You're really grasping at straws. Come on, man. You know this is bullshit. Just, like, admit it. Admit that that's bullshit? No. I would say he's... You're still, still gonna double it. down? Like, I get the guy hates you, but I mean, this only makes you look more credible and better if you fucking disavow that previous statement of calling him a fucking pedophile. Like, you know what I mean? Sure. I get it. I get it that you're mad at him. I get it that you don't like the guy because he's a dick to you as well. But this only helps you. It's in your best interest to make yourself look credible and make yourself look like the bigger man and not stoop to his level. Sure, then. So you retract that That's he's a pedophile. Not pedophilia. So you retract all statements saying that Slime Beast is a pedophile. Can I ask something, though? Would you have a conversation at 26 knowing this girl graduated? You're just appealing to, like, my personal emotions. This isn't an argument. Because I kind of feel like there's some sort of attempt at a gotcha because there's clearly a bias at this point. Especially how you completely dodged the lolly shit. I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. That's ridiculous. But I'd like to move on from this. This is pointless. Okay, I'm talking we about can... this specific slime beast bullshit. I mean, that's fine. You Obviously, already You already admitted that you, like, I mean, I'm just asking you to retract them, dude. And I guess you said that you do. We can move on next. I don't, you, we don't have to harp on it. But uh, I, th I, I don't think you could call me biased, given how you saw my conversation with Cold Raven. I grilled him just as much, if not more. And that's your number you one also... detractor. I'm even. Yeah. I have no fucking stake in this. I have no horse in this game, man. In this, in this race. I don't really feel you do. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a horse in this race. I fucking shit on Cold Raven for being a retard. And I'm critiquing you. It's, but we can move on. We don't have to harp on that. So, Slime Beast, that's the case with him. That creepy reading. How is he a pedophile? His defense and stance on Lollicon and the statement of justifying how he would think about fucking a 14-year-old is pretty fucking weird, dude. So, what's his... He also never addressed that, did he? So, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, yeah, it didn't look the best. But also, man, that was a very clip-chimped. And apparently, uh, what I'm understanding is that he was playing devil's advocate in that argument. He said, wait, Creepy Reading is saying that you said that you groomed kids in Discord? You said that about Creepy Reading? That he grooms kids in Discord? I don't believe I said that. Okay, well, if Creepy Reading, if you want to supply the receipts for that, you can all willing to message me. But, um, I think I, I asked if there was any credibility to grooming allegations and even said I wouldn't go off it if it wasn't substantial. Because someone commented saying he was ducking shit for that. I never found evidence of him grooming anybody. How do I DM you? Um, fucking Lorex on Twitter. You can message me. Um, just DM it to me and I'll, I'll take a look at it. But uh, that creepy reading, what is his take on Lollicon? His take on Lollicon? Yeah, because you're, that's one of the he, things you're saying he that he's a pedophile for. And he supported it in the end. I, you were sent the context with timestamp. He supported... When he joined the stream, so I mean... Well, the creepy reading is saying right now it's, it's wrong. Lollicon it's is wrong. wrong. Okay. It's wrong? So he denies that it's... Okay, hold on a second. 
Um, I got oh, literally a second this time. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Um, let me pull this up. Do you uh, DM me? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> um, there's a long pause. What did you not get it? No, I didn't get it. No, did you DM me on Discord? Yeah. Um, I don't get it. the last thing you sent was one twelve. And the link to the whatever the fuck the sixty minutes Australia. Oh, what the fuck? I'm trying to send that again. All good. Creepy reading. I'm looking at my DMs. If you want to send something, there you go. Okay, here we go. So he uh, also showing a Reddit post from one. Uh, I said some crazy shit on there. The only time I've ever used Reddit was to say wild shit for people accusing me. Also, when I was drunk. That was a good time. So, what does this say? It's hard to read. It's not fake. I just grew up five years and changed my views. This is you two years ago. What is this supposed to show? Yeah, so he, yeah, so he says that he, goes, uh, he grew up fi uh, five years from getting into Lollicon and defending that as well as talking about fucking 14-year-olds. Then he goes um, to try to shift it as if that's somehow comparable to me saying some stupid nonsensical edgy shit. Well, getting into his attacks at you. Um, so you think he's saying right now, I'm looking at his takes right now and he's saying Lolly Khan is wrong. He disavows his past statements, even if he did have a weird statement. Uh, maybe you thought he was a pedophile before because of his stance on Lolly Khan. But like if he's now disavowing and retracting that statement, I guess, you know, that would kind of make that point void, wouldn't you think? You can grow out of being sexually attracted to kids. Did you do you know what he, Lollicon like the definition act like is? Wait, did he say that he's sexually attracted to kids? Did he say that he's sexually attracted to the Lollicon? He defended it, didn't he? He defended he it. Talked, did he say he that he's also, sexually attracted to it? Yes. Do you have a clip of that? It's in the stream. No, he doesn't say word for word. You know he didn't because no one's fucking well, I'm talking being, about that. I hear you, debate. but I'm being told it's in a debate. You can understand why, you know, there is plausible deniability in his favor. He's in a debate setting and he's set and I'm getting word that he also argued in devil's advocate as well. So and it's in a debate setting. So, of course, you're going to take arguments or you're going to argue on behalf of some, some things sometimes. I think that's pl plausible enough to not like use against him that he's a fucking pedophile, man. I'm still waiting to have an explanation for the 14 year old part. And I think you are too. Um, the way that I take it is that he was in a debate setting and it is a horrible sounding clip. I don't deny that. It's a fucking horrible clip. Optics are through the fucking roof. Um, but is that proof alone that he's a pedophile man? Sure. I guess not. Okay. Shit. But I know one thing, if I ever heard that shit come out of someone's mouth, I would definitely think they are. Well, I don't dude, know how that could be explained, I, but I mean, I, what's I appreciate, the next thing? I appreciate your honesty. And like, I mean, I think, honestly, I would, like, you know, if I heard someone else say that too, I would <laughs> walk away. I would never want to talk to that person in my fucking life, okay? That's a very right. suspicious statement. Because it's a suspicious statement. But just because something's suspicious or it raises red flags, doesn't mean he's automatically guilty of it. And he's guilty oh, of being a pedophile. I guess we don't have concrete proof, but in that, do we? Is that the answer? Well, it's innocent I mean, until honestly, proven guilty. Sure. In my opinion that I have stated, yeah, he's a fucking pedo, dude. I'm Wait, not, I thought I, you just I, retracted I that. I pure pedophilia. If you, even if you've, like, I don't know how one grows but you, out of that. But you never have known that he's even jerked off to Lollicon. He was just arguing on behalf of it. I get it that it sounds suspicious. But, like, dude, I feel like there's just a very high bar to call someone a pedophile online. You have to have a, like a lot of evidence to demonstrate that. I thought you just took back your accusation. Now you're saying you believe it again? I did not say I took back my accusation. I thought you said that's not accusation. pedophilia. I thought you just said that like two minutes ago. I was talking about uh, Slime Beast. Uh, no, you were talking about... Flirtatious comments with a 13-year-old. I, I, okay, I'll just I, clarify again. I will, not, I will double down that Lolly's pedophilia. But what's the next? <laughs> I what's agree, the next? dude. 
I agree too. That's the thing. If you have evidence of that creepy reading jerking off to Lollicon of like little fucking girls in a sexual context, dude, I'll give you the keys to the fucking castle. Call him a pedophile all day long. The fact of the matter is, is that you don't have that. I would be very terrified if I had that proof, but yeah, I don't have him. I, I don't. Have or you don't even have a. You don't even have. You don't even have a statement from it. All you have is that him debating it and having some very like clip chimped out of context things on him. Like I just don't think you have to have a higher bar, man. So you're just not going to retract that statement. I think we've said enough about that creepy reading. We can move on to the next, but you're you are still doubling down on that. I encourage you to also look into the full context, which you neglected to do. But yeah, let's I'm, let's go on. He was in a debate. That was the full context, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I I do understand the full context, but I mean, you're doubling down. That's fine. So lazy bedhead's boyfriend. You said this person was a pedophile as well. I've insinuated it to piss her off. Yeah, because she's directly called me a pedophile and shit like that. Bad optics, but she's a cunt. <laughs> Nobody likes Dude, the I fucking keyboard elf. You don't either. Dude, I almost, <laughs> dude, I almost respect it, dude. You're just like, you know, Listen, this bitch this is, is a cunt. Theory, so I'm gonna... I, think all, I, I think I should be allowed to voice this publicly. I need to get it <laughs> off my chest. The reason we don't see Keebler commercials anymore is because she once was one of them. Not only did okay. she eat all the cookies, she ate all the <laughs> okay, fucking Okay, elves. dude. I, like, I, I mean, I almost respect it because of just how like unhinged it is. You're like, you know, this bitch is a cunt. I'm gonna call her boyfriend a pedophile. <laughs> like, <laughs> but do you bad. see the problem I don't in that? Responsibility for that one. That was my bad. And sorry to her boyfriend then. But holy fuck. So you retract those statements? For that one, for sure. Yeah. And like, I'm, I'm just like concerned too because this seems like to be a pattern with you. It seems like anyone who comes out with. Um, you know, calling you out and is a detractor of yours, you automatically just insinuate or outright call a pedophile. It's like very Mama Max esque. Weren't you calling Cold Raven the same at that point? I don't calling call Cold Raven a pedophile? a pedophile. What? Oh, sorry, wrong. No, 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 wrong phrase. <laughs> I don't think he is either. Uh. The thing, uh, I meant, uh, Mama Raven. Holy shit, that was a bad fucking- Mama Max? Nah, you called him Mama Raven. Oh, did I call him Mama Raven? Okay, I'm a retard then. I meant Colt- Wait, when did no, I say I Mama Raven? Uh, what I'm saying is, like, this is a common thing to start pushing off, but in reality, no. I, I stand where I stand on Slime Beast and TCR. He just, on some of the things he did, yeah, there's Wait. no apparently budging for everybody. For Wait, you stand things. where you stand on Slime Beast as a pedophile? I thought you just retracted that. What? You, st you just said you stand where you stand with Slime Beast, even though you just retracted your accusations that he's a pedophile just a few minutes ago. Yeah, I can't accuse the actions of him publicly posting what he did as being a pedo, sure. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In regards to, like, Lazy's boyfriend and shit, though, yeah. Fucked up there. Yeah, so Lazy Bedhead's boyfriend's not a pedophile, and you just falsely accused him because you don't like Lazy Bedhead. Totally, yeah, totally fuck, uh, fucked up thing and wrong of me. Yeah, kind of insane. <laughs> But uh, we can move yeah, on. Absolutely. And then uh, I think it's also insane to insinuate that I uh, sexually abuse my kids like these people have said, too. And if that's the case, but if hey. they did that, I completely disavow that. And I would call them out similarly for the same thing. But again, it only is in your best interest to like come out as the better man and not stoop to their level. So why even do it? You just make yourself know. look better. I guess you're right on that for sure. Okay. A lot of people have advised me just to ignore shit, and honestly, I'm very reactionary, and that's where I fucked up a lot. Well, reactionary is one I mean, thing. That's... Reactionary calling someone a pedophile is a whole nother deal, dude. I don't mean in that aspect. I mean, like, <laughs> in general, responding to these sorts of people. Okay. Um, and so, we can move on from that. Now, Cold Raven, you just implied in your most recent video that he has sexual conversations with people that you can't really you don't know if he has confirmed the ages of on instagram and on discord what was the approach there the show is hypocrisy i was asked to respond to him directly from his fucking fans and a few people of mine 
So I said, sure. Especially when all the shit came out about him being a lying asshole with literally no evidence. The dude and I were, uh, I don't want to say pretty close. It, it's a weird, it was like a weird kind of like online friendship thing, but he gave me some advice on stuff. We talk, we tried to collab. We have each other's fucking phone numbers. I don't know why if he supposedly wanted to get a hold of me so bad, he never tried to call me, by the way. But yeah, he talked about that in a couple phone calls. And that's actually, I guess, why he dipped out offline and shaved his head, which is some fucking crazy shit. Um, okay, but so just because it sounds like just because you were mad at him again, you insinuated that he's a pedophile and talking to minors. No, I was just saying that it's hypocritical to sit there and go off hit with his shit with no invest. I'm sorry, no evidence, but to claim that I'm a pedophile. But you weren't making up yet hypocrisy he's the one, yet points. He's the one not doing anything to age verify the randos he's trying to fuck around with on Discord. E kitten fucking is dangerous, I heard. You weren't making an hypocrisy point, though. You were outright implying that he talks to minors. That I mean, yeah, you're implying that he talks to minors because he doesn't age check them on Instagram or Discord. Like, do you want to pull up the video? If I mean, you take that as an implication of that, that's, I guess, what it is then. But as <laughs> I've already stated, and I'm pretty sure I even stated in that video that I don't think he's a pedophile. Okay, man. I mean, you're walking right up to the door by saying, who knows if he really checks the ages of these girls he talks to on Discord and Instagram? Like, come on, man. This just, this, the problem is I'm having is it just seems like a pattern with you. Is that people call you out and your instant response is just to accuse them of being a pedophile, just to discredit uh, what they're saying against you. It's just a defense to call them a pedophile to try to discredit their claims against you. That is, seems to be what they're trying to say, but... It's what I'm saying directly to you in this conversation uh, by going over all of the accusations you've made of calling people pedophiles with limited to basically no proof. Well, I never... You're saying I insinuated Cole Raven was a pedo. Okay. I was <laughs> saying directly just now that I don't think he is one. So I think the only person... If you're not counting Slime Beast right now, Slimesburg... Uh, that I falsely accused uh, what's her nuts fucking lazy bedhead's boyfriend. So I don't understand how that's a complete pattern when I actually feel I did my own pretty good investigations on it. I'll lay you out the pattern. So Slime Beast made a video shitting on you. You called him a child rapist and pedophile. That creepy reading made a video shitting on you. You called him a pedophile. Lazy bedhead made a video, I made a video on video you. On Slime lazy Beast first, I believe. You got into drama with them. I did investigating on him. You both got into drama with each other. You call him a pedophile. Lazy bedhead. You get into drama together. You call her boyfriend a pedophile. Fucking cold raven. You get into drama. You imply that he's talking to minors. And now with this last case with Scareth Theater, you imply that he's downloading Daisy's Destruction CP. How is this not a pattern? Who implied that he downloaded Daisy's Destruction? Did you not imply that? You're denying that? Yeah, who downloaded Daisy's Destruction? Scare Theater. Didn't you call him, I swear, didn't you call him a pedophile and said, like, implied that because he downloaded Daisy's Destruction? Pretty sure that was in the conversation that you had with Slime Beast on stream. I was saying that he would have had to get this information that he supposedly did and he even showed in his video. How did he have, like, video of inside this file with a password and all this? I was saying that, hey, dude, if you're saying this is all true, wouldn't that make you a pedo? Yeah, I okay, so why'd you just... <laughs> Eric a pedo either, so I mean, I don't understand. Hey man, I, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's like, you're, but you're like, you're not being straight up with me. Like, I, I have to pull teeth to get the real answer out of you. It's like, yeah, you did call him a pedophile, and now you're coming clean after I confront you saying like, how, like, I mean, how else would he have this if he didn't download CP? It's like, come on, man. You know what you're doing. I really didn't call him a pedophile. You didn't call him a pedophile. Okay. No. Um, if you can find a screenshot where I said, hey, you're a pedophile. Okay. Or no, no, I'm sorry. I guess that counts if I insinuate it. So there you go. <laughs> sure. Uh, so you don't need me to pull up the clip or anything? You just admit it? Yeah. Sure. There's a clip of me saying that he's a pedophile. And insinuating that it's a, he's a pedophile was like, I don't know what to think, man, if he's fucking downloading cp which i don't I mean, even hey, think there's fucking evidence for 
if there's evidence for me supposedly being a pedophile by accidentally seeing a legal trailer or something, I think opening a file with a password la labeled Daisy's Destruction would constitute something too, but I mean... So do you think Scare Theater is a pedophile? I think he made that whole thing up. No, I don't think he's a pedophile. I think he okay. literally made that entire. And you retract your implications up. that he's a pedophile. I yeah, I would I would say that because I implied and never called him a pedophile. Never tried to fucking call him out for being one. But you would retract but I, your I would implying. Say, yeah, dude. It, if you down if you went out of your way to download that, which people claimed I have, and he, he put this supposed password in and opened it up, but oh, he didn't watch it. That's pretty fucking uh, calling the kettle black, right? This isn't an hypocrisy points. It's not. It's not an hypocrisy. That's not points. my point. You're. That is what I was saying. Black. That is what I literally fucking was talking about, and I've said multiple times. In fact, I, I'm sure I've said. I don't think I've said it in like a posted video. I said it in a couple streams. I've even tried contacting him himself and telling him that, because I wanted him to admit he's full of shit. He made up that bullshit. I don't um, believe the four chan thing on him. To be honest. So um, one second, I'm just I just got a DM of from the creepy reading showing that you did accuse him of uh, grooming minors. So let's let me pull this up real quick. Him? Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna say scare theory. I'm like, are we serious now? Well, I mean, you just did deny like a few minutes ago that you didn't um, say that he was grooming minors. So um, right here, you banned him for uh, trying to groom kids via Discord chats. Do you think the question mark saves you? <laughs> Did you do that for legal reasons? <laughs> so this what? is this no. is you doing it right I here. Did that because I didn't fucking know. <laughs> That's what I was being told at the time. I had to learn about this dude. I didn't know who he was until he went on Twitter, fucking bragging and being weird as fuck. Dude, aside from everything else in my critiques of you, I just find it like like you just fucking lied to my face in this conversation. Can you just like be straight up? I have to pull teeth. I have to get clips to show you saying things that live that go against what you just said like two seconds ago and contradict your stories. This is you saying trying to groom kids via Discord chat. I mean, that's kind of an accusation, if not walking right up to the door with these fucking question marks. Oops, I fucked up on the I was trying to look at it, too. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't share my screen. I could show you real quick. So uh, right here, trying to groom kids via Discord chat. You banned him, and you say it again, trying to groom kids via Discord chat. So. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hello i'm we, still here oh you are did your mic cut out i think so what the fuck <laughs> okay well there's that any statement or do you want to move on to the next section i mean honestly that was what i was being told at the time. <laughs> so i mean a just like he was being told that i was doing shit too so now you're justifying investigating. he retracted some of his statements. Too. So now you're justifying the accusation, even though just a few minutes earlier, you said that you never even accused him of grooming kids in discord. But now once I confront you with it, now you're justifying it. Because I didn't really believe I directly said that because I definitely Doesn't seem like you believe a lot of things that you've done. <laughs> okay, we can move on to the next section, though. All right. So I wanted to bring up the DMCA situation. So. You have DMCA this YouTuber called Spinlane in the past for making videos on you. Can you explain why? Wait, you said I DMCA at Scare Theater? Spinlane. Spinlane. Oh. Yeah, I kind of figure that non-transformative uh, clips of mine being uploaded are against, uh, you know, DMCA, but... Non-transformative sure, clips? Um, is yes. that your... Is that the reason why you took down his video? Yes. Okay, because in your interview I'm with Tom, you gave off. because what? you're in because in your interview with Tom, you gave a different story. You said it was because you had a problem with him defaming you and slandering you, and that was your excuse for saying that. 
that's why you DMCA'd him. But now you're saying it's because of copyright clips? That was the reason I did that. And yeah, his video sucked, dude. Do you want me to? Did I do it? Do you remember saying? That? No, he could. He, you know, the thing is, he could easily upload the same video without using my content, couldn't he? Do you remember your conversation with Turkey Tom? Yes. Um. Do you remember you saying that you took down and DMCA'd his video because you had a problem with him slandering your name? It was literally both reasons. Why it's can't I have reasons. that as a part of a thing? Well, because with the copyright system, you can't take down someone's video for defamation. These are two separate things. I can take That's it down for using both. my clips, so why couldn't he upload it without my clips? And so then... if Spinley would have made a video sucking your dick, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't take down the video? If Spinling made a video saying the most wild shit out there and he didn't use my clips, I wouldn't care. Well, you're saying... So you just said it was for both reasons. It was because I he was be, slandering yeah, I mean, you. Yeah, I didn't like the fact that he was being a defaming retard. But other than that, yeah, I, did, I would rather not have my material being used as such. Especially for those reasons. He can make his video without my content. So you, There's no okay. Slime Beast has actually done the same thing. So I'm very so confused. You can, Where are these accusations coming from with actual substance on you, that? You can, imagine my, you can imagine my confusion because you're saying that it was for both reasons why you took down Spinlane's videos is because he was slandering you and because he used copyright clips. But you're so you would go on record saying that you still would have taken down his videos if he would have made a video praising you and saying how much he liked Plague Moth instead of how much he dislikes Plague Moth. Is that really what you're saying? If he would have used uh, as many clips and shit as he did, I probably would have. I do that <laughs> actually still. I don't like people uploading my content. Yeah, I <laughs> do. Come on, that's bullshit, man. You took it down because you didn't like what he was saying about you. You said it yourself in the Tom interview. Just be up. That's just be straight up. Reason, but I mean, hey. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna be straight up with me. You're just gonna keep lying to my face. So it's a lie if I say that I did for using my clips and that I because don't want him defaming me with my clips. I'm very, I'm kind of getting confused. Okay, I'll spell it out one more time. So you use the copyright system. You filed a copyright claim to this guy because you had a problem that he content. was slandering you and because he used your content. But do you see the issue with the second thing? You said it was for both reasons. I guess more specifically, if you want me to rephrase it for you, would be that he's using my content, and I don't like he's using it in a way to slander me. But the thing is... If but that's, you know how that's content, like an irrelevant it, argument when it comes to filing a DMCA claim. Why would you even bring it up then? You would just say, he used my copyrighted content, not in a fair use way. That's why I took it down. But for some reason, you added also on top of that that it was for slanderous reasons. How is that even relevant? You're using the copyright system. It's not a copyright and defamation system. I guess that's my own verbal butthurt. Verbal butthurt? What I'm saying is I'm saying that because it bothers me what he's doing. Okay, but you can't abuse the copyright system because he, you don't like what someone's saying about you. You have to take them to courts if you have a problem with defamation or slander. So if they, if they use my, like I said, use my content in a non-transformative manner to slander me, I can't copyright it using my clip. I'm, well, I'm just trying, okay, um, we can move on after this. I'm trying to explain to you that it's a void point to even bring up the slander or defaming thing. The copyright, that's the only important thing if you're using the copyright using system. Content. No, it's not. It has nothing to do with it. If he's sucking your dick, if he's fucking slandering you, it has nothing to do with copyright. If you're filing a copyright claim, it's only copyright. But we can move on. And, um... Also, something I noticed um, here, I want to ask quickly, though, since it's about your copyright, what in Spinlane's video did you feel like abused your copyright? Do you remember which video it was? Hello? Your mic may be cutting out still. Hello? I'm here? Okay, I can't hear you. Maybe try to fix your Discord settings. Go to voice and video and make sure the output and input settings are right. Can you hear me now? Yep, I, okay. I, I can hear you now. 
fuck was happening. I had to switch the input back and forth, but it was set to the right one. That was weird as fuck. All good. So, um, do you? Uh, what I asked is that do you remember which video of spin lanes that you DMCA'd? No, dude. They're they do like fifty videos a fucking week, and that was like what how, what video of his got hit like he got, did he actually get a video even taken down didn't get taken down but you still filed a dmca copyright claim and attempts to strike his channel yeah it was a while ago it was fuck for me um well <laughs> he, um, i think it's kind of irrelevant at that point anyway i'm not talking about the, the claim itself i'm talking about the time frame but well you released his videos four months ago and eight months ago it wasn't that long ago Four months and eight months isn't that long ago. No, it's not. But um, okay, we can. Uh, so I think I'm trying to pull it up real quick. No, these are the privacy complaints. Um, so if you don't remember the DMCA thing, you don't remember the reason why you DMCA'd him. Like what content you felt infringed on your copyright. You said privacy strike. No, we'll get into the privacy complaints next. I'm talking about DMCA right now. This is copyright. And you're talking about spindling still? Yes. Okay, I just wanted to be clear here. Uh, well, I'm so fucking confused. What are you confused about? What can I clear up for you? All right, people are sending me shit, too. I need to fucking get out of this. What are they sending you? Just the repeated fucking... Sure. Uh, with okay? spindling, I, what I, I copyright uh, DMCA'd him, right? Yes, I didn't did. privacy strike him. Well, you did both, but we'll get to privacy complaints in a second. So I'm talking about the DMCA right now. Well, I guess with my reasoning, I'd be in the wrong for that, huh? No, I'm asking for your justification. For some reason, I think I you tried, think I'm biased I towards you. I'm justifying it, but I'm clearly in the wrong on that DMCA claim, aren't I? I'm asking your justification. My justification was I didn't want him using my media, but apparently it's being argued as fair use to just play my media without did you think? Did you think it was fair use? I didn't feel it was. Okay. Because I remember um, specifically in the conversation with um, Tom, I just want to read this out real quick. And when asked about this in your interview with Tom, you said verbatim, that falls on my lack of education of how the copyright system works. Do you remember saying that to him? Yeah. And uh, you just basically chalk it up to being a mistake. And you said you thought you were doing the right thing. But um, I guess I just call bullshit on that. You have to go through multiple steps to DMCA someone and explain to YouTube how they are infringing on your copyright by telling them specific timestamps of where your copyright was infringed. So you're telling me you just didn't know how it worked and you thought you could use it for defamation as well. So um, I just find it weird how you're giving me two different stories. You gave one story to Tom and you're giving me a different story right now. I believe I also was uh, referring to the privacy complaints. I don't recall that. No, but it wasn't. I mean, it, it was directly it was in this conversation DMCA. about the DMCA. You both were talking about DMCA. Oh, shit, I guess I was on the wrong about that. Well, it's just a matter of just, I guess, not keeping consistent stories and just not telling the truth, I guess, is that you're telling me two different stories. You told him one, you're telling me one. So I, it's just hard to take your word and i think it hurts your credibility it was hard to even like actually process through the blood sports of that entire stream this was before creepy reading even came in the conversation you were having a relaxed conversation with tom this is like six minutes in there's no okay. blood sports we talked about it with him on too i thought that's when that happened maybe a little bit but i'm referring to the conversation you had just very chilled out with tom in the first six minutes okay so there's no blood sports I guess I don't know about uh, how DMCA works, huh? Well, but now you're talking to me as if you do know how, but you told him that, you know, you were just, you just didn't know how it works. So therefore you were just were like fucking damsel in distress. You didn't know what the fuck. It's not the best. It example, seems pretty vague but... to say, I just said it doesn't know how I do not know how it works. That's well, that's what you said. I'm not basically like, said, I guess that fall basically the same thing I'm telling you as to trying to, uh, basically corner me into it 
Um, because you want you, again the 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 consensus is that I abuse the copyright system, correct? Yes. Okay, and also so, that you're telling me two different stories. You tell Tom one, you're telling me one. So it's hard to take your word as credibility because you're telling us two different things. Okay. So you could see like why I would be confused there. Yeah, I get that. Okay, because also I want to bring up that Spinling literally posted the email he got back from YouTube when his video was reinstated. And that email actually showed your explanation that you wrote to YouTube to get it taken down, where you said specifically, I am the owner of this work. This is my original work, and I did not give them permission to use it, which those are copyright arguments, not defamation ones. So you knew what you were doing. You're just trying to abuse the copyright system just because someone made a video shitting on you. But you acted dumb on purpose in the conversation with Tom to, I assume, get out of it. But, uh, I wouldn't say I was doing it to act dumb. Well, I mean, you. I just assumed based you, on that, I didn't but know you, everything else. But no, you did. I'm, what I'm the reason I brought this up is because I'm proving that you did know how the copyright system worked. Because this was literally your example. Like I could screen share with you right now. This is what you said verbatim to YouTube. No, I see it. I am the owner of this work. This is my original work, and I did not give them permission to use it. So you did know. It wasn't just a matter of you not understanding the copyright system. You also said a quote to him that falls on my lack of education of how copyright system works. But that's not true. You did know. And this was your explanation you gave to YouTube. What I'm saying is, or what I was saying rather to Tom too, is like, again, because like right now I'm being told that I apparently don't know how it works. It's basically just agreeing with it. To move on with it i did believe i was doing the right thing but sure i mean i did i do own that content i did not give consent for that content to be used so you don't have to give consent for content there's fair use what i'm saying is i don't i did not approve of him using my content in his videos yeah you don't have to Give like you react to videos that. for you that, react to videos exactly for a living. Was, you should uh, know this better right? than you should do it correctly, and it wasn't used correctly apparently. Yeah, but that's not uh, that's not a point in your favor. But I um, know that that's me saying I fucked up there. Yeah, but now, but you're lying when you t explain to other people. That's the point I'm making. But we can move on if you want. Um, if I explain it to other people, and um, a clip also that I found um pretty funny or interesting is that um your channel got taken down for false dmca copyright claims right correct suspiciously on creepy pasta videos but yeah yeah so you are a victim of that so you should know better than anyone else how it works and also the damage you could do to other channels because you got your whole channel taken down for these copyright claims falsely apparently falsely against you but then you do the same thing to other people I mean, what's going on? What's going on, man? I don't know. Uh, oh, no. I've been had. Okay. Well, um, last section. We'll end it off here. So the privacy complaints that you said on top of the DMCAs. I've heard you've sent privacy complaints to that creepy reading, Lazy Bedhead, Spindling, and Slime Beast. How many did you send to each of them, and why did you file these? Well, I'm going. Do you have it on the screen? Yeah, I do, but I didn't want you to read it so that you'd read off my screen and just take oh, what I fucking be. researched. I wanted you to explain it yourself. Why I sent him stuff? Why and how many? I don't know how many I sent him. I know uh, Andrea sent him a few too because of like her footage being used and her being called uh, a fucking fat pig and all this other shit. Our address was in one of his videos as well. There's a bunch of other information where he uh, leading to websites where he posts our information. And I don't mean just my name that got put into a report. I'm talking about like by private email. My phone number was on one of them. OK, um, here, I'll just I'll just say it out loud. So you sent 12 apparently to Slime Beast, two to Spindling, two to four to Lazy Bedhead and one to that creepy reading. You sent all of these different privacy complaints where in Spindling's case, um, where you filed a privacy complaint on his video, the fall of YouTube's most disturbing creator, Plague Moth. You claimed in in all of these timestamps um, that he showed private information. 
But even in the first timestamp you give as an example, from zero seconds to 39 seconds of his video, there wasn't any privacy shown. So um, what is your justification for this? I wanted to um, watch the timestamps, if that's okay with you. Sure. Okay, so um, first and foremost, I wanted to show um, the claim of you filing it and the timestamps that were shown from Spinlane's video. Apparently it should be around like 1023, 1043. Okay, so this is the email that Spinling got. Dear Spinling, this is to notify you that we've received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content, and that's the link. And the information reported as violating privacy is zero to 39 seconds, zero to 40 seconds, um, 10, 10 to uh, zero seven, and 10 to 21, 10 54 to 10, uh, to 1108, 1219, 1227, 1236, 12 to 48, fucking 1341, 1356, 1459, 1506, 16, 17, 16 to 23, 16, 32, 6, 17, 37, 17, 43. You get the point. You're saying your privacy was breached on all these different timestamps in this video? Yeah. I did not want my image being used in it. You didn't want your image being used in it? You're a public figure. I'm also not the one who uh, filed most of those. Who did? I did not also tell my wife to do so. You didn't file it and your wife I didn't either? I filed the one on that creepy reading personally. So you're saying your wife did it? You're pawning it off on... Uh, so you're... No, I didn't pawn it on my wife. I believe she also told you as well, which you wrote off verbatim. She wrote as herself. She... You can't claim that your privacy was like reported on behalf of you is she saying that her privacy was breached or she's speaking on your behalf saying that my husband's privacy was breached so that's why i'm filing this complaint i don't think you can do that i think you have to be the one if your privacy is breached to send the privacy report to youtube mm. hmm, and i sent you say i sent 12 to slime beast yeah we can we're gonna go one by one so this is spin lane so just we don't have to go through every timestamp you've shown because there was a lot of timestamps you said your privacy was breached but um in the first so we'll go through the first one where you said your privacy was breached in the first zero seconds and 39 seconds of spin lane's video so i wanted to play this real quick you and my screen share yep all right here we go stop me at any point where you think your privacy is breached A little while ago, I made a video on the YouTube of Plague Moth, the self-titled Gore God and Hurter of Feelings, a person who makes videos on disturbing subjects and is an all-around pain to deal with. So much has happened that we're making this video, which will serve as a more light-hearted companion piece delving into the many controversies of Plague Moth, YouTube's most self-destructive creator. Hey, it's me, Plague Moth, the guy who just sells gore to kids outside! The uncensored stuff went- So that's uh, 39 seconds. Did you see any of your privacy breached? Other than my image, I believe that was uh, my wife helping me as well with the lap quote. What is your image? To get my what is your image? Blurred, but... What is your image? Your face? Yep. You show your face on your public YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. How is that a privacy breach? Like I said, there was also uh, there was also other people, i.e., my wife. So you're blaming your wife I for can't filing exactly this? Help phrasing, but hey, you're blaming yeah, your wife. I am a little bit because she's a manager on my account too. I was told too about it. Didn't it's... really care. So it's your wife's fault. Okay. So um, on some of those for sure. Does your wife want to come into the call? Does she want to have a conversation about this? Do you want to put her on mic? I've been honestly waiting for a while for that, as we loop. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's against TOS and privacy complaints too. Pretend you're someone else and file a privacy complaint. So if she has a channel that puts her channel in jeopardy, I think she's plagued goddess where she's pretending to be you to file privacy complaints. So um, I'm interested to see her take on this. Do, do you want to like text her? Is she calling in? I'm trying to see when she can. I'm in a whole different room. She might be still with the kids. Well, we could hold it on. We could go to the next ones. So apparently 
that was your wife's responsibility for filing that one against Spinlane. So if we go to the next one, um, you filed a privacy complaint on Slime Beast. You sent 12. Was that you or were your wife? If they're under my name, I, they would have to be me unless like she would have to go behind my back. But I was told that there were things filed. I did file some on him. Okay, so why did you file privacy complaints on Slime Beast? Did not want me in his videos. What? Did not want me in his videos. Um, what do you mean me? Your address Myself. or your face? The ones with my address and shit actually got deleted. Those were a while ago. What do you mean me? I'm gonna ask again. Your address or your face? And these recent ones would be my face, and your response is that I'm a public figure. Do you not believe that? No, I do, and I really don't care. You don't care? Nope. What don't you care about? I really don't care about the uh, community stance on that. On why community I stance? It's not, a commu right it's not a community stance. This is a niche thing. You're, you publicly show no, your face on YouTube thing. channel. No one is breaching your privacy. You've made your likeness and your body, your face, all public on your own YouTube channel. Do you not remember that? Do you want me to go to your YouTube channel? You could do that. You my screen share? If you're going to try to belittle me like I'm stupid, I mean, at least use some common sense. Your face is in the thumbnail right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how is this breaching your privacy? Sure, it's not breaching my privacy, is it? No, it's not. Did I have to explain that to you, or did you know that all along, and you just maliciously wanted to fuck this guy over? I'd rather him not use my image. I wonder, what are privacy... Uh, complaints for when they say full name or image so why do you go out of your way to send a privacy complaint why, well, do your, why do you go out of your why do you go out of your way why do you go well. out of, why do you go out so, of your way to send a privacy complaint to all of your detractors what about the people praising you and use your face me that i don't so well you send it to slime beast why would you do that slime Absolutely. beast would you send a privacy complaint to slime beast I if you were sucking your dick day, and actually, praising you for putting my full name as well as uh other videos of mine up there's a copyright going for that because he actually went through my patreon and took videos or my premium pages have you showed your, have you showed anyone by... else's face you showed um cold raven's face in the thumbnail right here what if he sent a privacy complaint to you do you think that would be a I justified privacy complaint well but i'm gonna pull something up do you think that would be a justified privacy complaint for cold raven to send to you because you used his face yeah, you can go ahead and do it so that's your stance i mean at least you're consistent being a retard Sure. Okay. So um check your DMs real quick. Did you send me CP? Oh, you know it, buddy. <laughs> um is that your wife play goddess? Yeah, she was wanting the me to tell you that uh that she DM'd you, but hold on a second. I'm so also said, going to uh, all the privacy the complaints are my for... fault. So she's saying that she filed all the privacy complaints, but you just told me a different story. You just told me that she couldn't, she couldn't have filed all of them like that. So hold on a second here. So Wait, privacy she complaint process. Can we get to that in a second? Process six of six says what a personal info is revealed. Your image or full name refers to still images, audio, video footage, or text that uniquely identifies you. So having my full legal name posted out there, which was not public information until I was doxxed, by the way. Uh, Dude, we can talk about the full legal name docs in a second. I'm going one by one. Right that now, we're still relevant to the privacy complaints on Slimeby specifically. Yeah, we, we can go into that in a second. I'm still caught up on the fact that you just told me that your face breaches your privacy. So I'm just trying to still get I caught up on that. I'm sure to you because there's, there was obviously no other uh, answer that you were seeking. So you just said that? For no reason and you didn't believe it or the slime beast stuff him him using my information as well as my image actually without me wanting him to without according me wanting to you to did you do you think cold raven do you think cold raven wanted you do you think cold raven wanted you to use his face in a video where you insinuate that he's talking to fucking minors do you think he wanted Absolutely. that that gives him content so you Otherwise, think he, he wanted that any. i mean dude are you just gonna what is this man you should probably read the, uh, show this on your stream too, and and read it off verbatim, and What's explain this? why this is actually here in an option from YouTube. 
I have your wife Probably saying all the privacy complaints are my fault. He doesn't know what the fuck was filed because he didn't do it. But you just told me on stream a different story that you were the one that filed many privacy complaints to Slime Beast. Who's telling the truth? You or your wife? I mean, what the fuck am I even looking at right now? Can your wife like come on the same mic as you? Because obviously you guys have conflicting fucking stories. I don't know what to think. I would really love for her to actually do that as well. Go look at what I sent you and read it. What is this? Because I think that... Uh... I'm pretty sure, unless I'm misunderstanding here, that I wasn't uh, filing a false complaint, was I? So what is well, this? Why is that option there? Could you elaborate what you two means by this? I'm going to read it out, just as you wish. Privacy complaint process six of six. What personal information is revealed? Your image or full name. Your image or full name refers to still images, audio, video Im uh, footage, or text that is uniquely identifies as you. Other personal info refers to you, contact info, for example, your home address or email address, identification info, for example, your social security number, and that's the rest, yeah. So uh, other personal identification photo. So I would understand this opinion if you've never shown your face online before. That's not what you do. You put your face in your thumbnails. You put your face in your videos. You very much make your full name. I mean, sorry, your face. I, I don't know if I misspoke there, but you put your face in your thumbnails and videos. So this wouldn't apply to you. No, oh, but in the things revolving around my name and other contact info, yes. I luckily was able to get the videos with my uh, fucking address out. Slime Beast only had one, I believe, with those. There was others, though, that were re-uploaded. Not that that's specifically relevant, but... Are you my I screen mean, share? Hey. Are you my screen share? I am now. So I uploaded the clip of talking to Cold Raven yesterday, and your face is in the thumbnail. So uh, do I? am I expecting a privacy complaint? No, I'm not going to privacy complaint the stream either. Why? Because I'm okay with you using my image. Oh, so it's just a matter of so who you like, like and who you don't like. Or whatever, so, it's, so, be it. so it's a matter. So you I can obviously see the consistency the of that. Here. Are you, dude, you're fuck, are you fucking with me right now? I guess so. So it, you file. Know. So your basis of filing a privacy complaint is whether or not you like someone or dislike them. Yeah, so you better watch out, right? I'm asking for the truth. I mean, I've given you the truth, but... You're giving me this sarcastic answer. It's like, I guess that's what you want to hear. Like, because I can sense farming. It's not like it's hard to see what's farming? Like from the start, dude. Oh, I'm not boy. saying you're entirely biased against me, but it's just kind of nonsensical. We've looped around about the same shit, answered some of the same things only to go back to it. And I know some of that's my fault. I'm not the most John, bad John. guy on that. If I was biased towards you, then why'd you put me in your latest description plugging me? Lyrix Law channel, go subscribe. Obviously, you were pleased in my conversation that I had with Cold Raven and Slime Beast, and I guess you thought I did a good job defending you. But now you're in this conversation, you're claiming I'm biased? Somewhat. Uh, you, were also, you also were somewhat uh, against that. Not against me. That's the wrong phrasing for sure, because I don't feel you're against me. But you also showed... Uh, some distaste rather in that stream too which is fine i don't give a fuck about that necessarily what's but more I mean, realistic really timeline that i critiqued really cold raven to... what's the more realistic timeline that i critiqued cold raven for his retarded points and i'm critiquing you for your retarded points isn't that the most that not that the more accurate timeline instead of me just having a hard on for you and a bias towards you don't you think so fair enough fair enough okay well uh, where were we? Your wife. Is your wife coming on? She keeps DMing me. He was lying for me. <laughs> Dog, lying what the... For her. Dog, what the fuck is going on? I got your wife, like, saying you were lying for me? Your... Her sake? <laughs> what the fuck am I... What is happening, man? Honestly, I think she's fucking lying. Is this a bit? Can you get your fucking wife? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. What the fuck is this? Betrayal by the wife. Uh, can, can you like can you call her or something? Because obviously this is this is a bad look, and you're it's in your best interest. Can you give her a call? Can you say hey? Can you come on the fucking? Because it's not making you look good. Honestly, even if hold on a second, please. Because I agree, this is fucking stupid. Thank you. Live fucking divorce, boys. What, dude, what the fuck is happening? 
What the fuck? Ultimate divorce review. Yeah. <laughs> she wants Larix to join the open relationship. Good fucking one, dude. Man, this conversation. <laughs> wow. Oh, hello? I have to wait a minute. Hello? But yes. Hi, is this played hey. goddess? Yes. Good to talk to you. How are we doing? I'm all right. All right. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> for full transparency, because I don't really like the whole lying thing. I was the one who decided to see if the privacy complaints would work, to be honest. And, um, I filed a bunch under mine and I did file some under his and he passed them to lie for me. <laughs> I so... didn't realize it was such a huge fuss and... So just a few minutes ago when um, Plague Moth was telling me... I don't know me, about like commentary communities or anything or like... I'm not asking you to. I'm just asking. Just a few minutes ago when Plague Moth said to me that he's the one who filed a bunch of privacy complaints to Slime Beast, you're telling me that was, was a lie? lie That's why he didn't know that they're all time stamped of his image. There was some in the past that, you know, he had filed that got our... I understand what you're saying. And hey, if this is... You can... You can you know, everything's fine. Everything's going to be okay. It's just, you can imagine my surprise when I have him saying, hey, my wife's lying and I don't know what the fuck I mean, she's doing. Like and then you're DMing me and you're telling I mean, me a different story like and you're, that, and you're DMing me and telling me a different story that he was lying for me. I mean, you can imagine my surprise. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, well, anyhow, I hope that clears it up, but I have got to get going. Um, wait, one last question. So you were the one... Yeah. So you filed privacy complaints under your name where you felt your privacy was breached, correct? Yes. And then I gathered all the so information. So where, so who, what channel breached your privacy? Uh, TCR and Slime Beast. How did Slime Beast and TCR breach your privacy? They were using images of me and no, I'm not, like I know images I have of you. videos, but those were literally started for, you know. Like, you have a channel called Play Goddess where you show your face. And yes, I know. Yeah. So um, you were mad that but, people... And should I be expecting a privacy complaint because I'm showing this video I'm right now? Privacy complaint. I just don't like the people. And I just was hoping that something would, I don't know, uh, give leeway. Give leeway? You just don't like yeah, the people. Because, That's what you just said to they me? Were, they were saying a lot of horrible and untrue things. Do you like me? I hope I'm on your good list because if I I'm not... Like if because if I'm not, I'm going to get a privacy you, complaint. I feel that you've been pretty, uh, like, unbiased towards certain things, so. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I hope I don't get a privacy complaint after this. I'm not going to do that. Thank you. Um, but the reason you filed the other ones is because you just didn't like the guys? They're saying some, it's, it's more than just not liking, it's what they're saying. Like, all the the false narratives that they're they have pushed for so long so yeah you don't like you yeah. don't like them and you don't like what they're saying you can obviously see the problem in filing yeah. a privacy complaint just because you don't like someone or like what they're saying yes. right correct yes i can see yeah and that's like a false privacy complaint so um you don't understand yes. that right I, I didn't know that that would be a false because i'm not you didn't know that would be a false privacy complaint. You have to file no, how I your fear, privacy I was that breached. I was in the right on that one. I honestly you, did. You felt like you were in the right. Yes, I did at the time. But you have to tell YouTube on how your privacy was breached. You have to go in depth and explain on how your privacy was breached, and you're telling me you just didn't understand it. It was asking for timestamps, and and you um, thought your face that you show publicly on your channel was a breach of your privacy when other people put it in their videos. When he's saying, when he's slandering me, yes, I did feel that way, yes. When he's slandering you, so now you're bringing in another factor, but that's besides the point. It has nothing to do with privacy if he's someone slandering you. That's defamation and slander. At the time, I didn't realize this. That's what I'm trying to tell you, is I didn't realize this. All due time. respect, how old are you? I'm 38. And you didn't understand the difference between slander, defamation, and privacy? I figured because images sure. were being used that it would be part of privacy. Hey, Lyrics. What's up? Why is a YouTuber named Mr. Sen sending me 
stuff of you having a thousand lolly pictures and i'm not trying Ooh, to say anything what but what the fuck is that is that why you're so lenient on the lollycon pedophilia discussion by chance so now you're gonna call me a pedophile that's really your new no, approach I man you're no I, you're I, making I, yourself I, look really good right now man this, this is a really no i think if you were sent something you would want to know the answer to that as well this is a really good approach man i applaud you i'm curious because i why would he what the fuck i'm, I'm sorry i gotta go I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, your wife's gone now. Have, That's a shame. Yeah, I have to leave. I have to go pick up one of my kids. Well, good talking to you. I'm very interested in that. Are you now? So that's your new approach. So, I mean, just backing up my claim I just made about you, that every time someone calls you out and anyone has the slightest critique of you, you just label them a pedophile. No, Thank you dude, for proving I'm, my I'm, point I'm live on air. Because it's kind of fucked. Not wondering if you're a pedo. I'm wondering, like, you're, this is you're pathetic. Here on your approach yourself. This is pathetic. Man, this is, is really this is really sad. Is it? Yes. Then why duck that? Why duck that? You agreed to have I'm, come I'm, on. Okay. You agreed I'm, to have I'm, come I'm, on and I'm, have a conversation is, yes, and answer to my don't questions. Like that I filed complaints, correct? And now at the end that's of the conversation, that's the big allegation, correct? What? The big allegation against me at this point, and the big focus because commentary's hard up for this is false complaints, correct? Um, it's everything I've brought up to you tonight, man. Mm -hmm. I feel I adequately defended myself on the uh, pedo allegations, so I'm fine with that. No one's calling you a pedophile. I mean, no, I'm, I'm not. Talking about in regard no, I'm talking about in regard regards to uh, the this other... Is, this is worse than Mama Max, man. At least he didn't call me a pedophile live on air. This is rough, dude. Jesus, man. I, no, what I'm saying is I think it's kind of interesting that it kind of boils down the lolly a lot. This is all you got? This no, is really I mean, all you got? I, Instead of like addressing I mean, my concerns, we're talking about privacy complaints. Concerns. And this is what you're doing? This is fucking rough, man. So um, back to what your wife was saying. So your wife is saying that she was the one who sent all these privacy complaints out? Yeah, that's what she was saying. So you didn't, even though you just said to me a few minutes ago that you're the one who sent out multiple privacy complaints to Slime Beast, you were lying? I did send out multiple ones. But your wife just said that you didn't, and she said she was the one who did it all. So who's telling the truth, you or your wife? We both send out complaints, I don't understand. No, you're... Dude, did, were you not in the room when your wife just said it? I don't think I'm mishearing Actually, I here. wasn't until I actually went back when I got sent that weird shit about you. And then I started to be like, oh. Well, kind of explains the ducking and why a supposedly... A clear depiction of a fucking. You can keep trying like, to character assassinate. It's just making you look. You can keep trying to character assassinate. You're just making yourself look worse. But in case you weren't listening, which it sounds like you weren't, your wife said that you were lying in her favor and that she was the one who sent out all the privacy complaints. But it sounds like you're now admitting that it's a different story. Now she was lying too to me. Dude, this is fucking. I was told rough. after. Uh, she I was fired. not. I did not think this was gonna happen. Dude, what the fuck, man? You just bury yourself. I'm confused too. At why you are so hard up on not answering that? <laughs> this is all you got. I'm a pedophile. I'm a pedophile. No, Let's pedophile. fucking go. You Let's fucking go, dude. That you don't dude, you know what? Fuck it, dude. You know what? I own it. Let's say it. I'm a fucking pedophile. Let's do it, man. I didn't say you Let's were. Let's do it. No. I, you said that Lollycon isn't though. What? You said that Lollycon. You don't. You, wait, I'm sorry. No, you did say that you consider Lollycon pedophilia, correct? So did you send out the privacy complaints? Do you consider? Yeah, I did. Do you consider? Um, so was your wife just lying to me? Though, because that was kind of confusing. And then I'm seeing that you were caught with like 1K pictures of it. This is just bad, man. Well, if this that's is bad. the case, and that explains the whole gotcha approach. This is it. Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is just how. This is what yeah. you're gonna keep saying. You're not gonna address anything else, even though your wife just told me she's the one who sent out the privacy complaints. I would imagine the bigger concerns would be the other shit, but I'm I'm not exactly surprised that the whole process was just the boil down to the whole privacy complaint shit. Okay, man. So if that's all you got, I mean.
I, I, I also, even yesterday, you filed a privacy complaint to Slime Beast, claiming his entire video, zero, zero minutes to 24 minutes, violated your privacy. I was going to ask you why. And also, apparently, you claimed the Turkey Tom conversation you had with him and claimed the whole hour conversation that breached your privacy. What's that about? That's what I was going to ask you, too. But it seems I actually like want to ask about that, too, actually. It seems like you're not engaged like anymore. Uh, I, I don't think I went to go do anything to Turkey Tom. And if you think about it, it'd be stupid because wouldn't he have made like a video or said something about that? He's not like he's afraid to talk about me. Well, apparently it was your wife who did it. So did you not know? No, not about that one for sure. Because I think that's stupid because that would draw. I would imagine hey, everybody, that would draw remember? attention from him. Do you want me to show you? Because Slime Beast told me that in private, Turkey Tom DM'd it to him. And that Tom hasn't gotten around to making a video about it yet because he was stuck in his spam folder. And that's why Slime Beast is the one to break the story. And this is the email right here that you sent or your wife sent on the conversation that you sent to Tom on your discussion, where it was from zero, from 10 seconds to the whole hour and 16 minute call. So was that, was that your fucking wife or you? It wasn't me. I'm it was your wife. I'm looking at this right now and he said it was uh, from me. Because I wouldn't make that decision because it's a, that's even more stupid than ever. So I'm your wife was cosplaying as you? Your, cosplay, your fucking wife was cosplaying as you to follow the privacy complaint? Sure, because I wouldn't go after Turkey Tom because he's got a bigger, possibly even more fucking, uh, what is it? So that's how you operate? Better term, uh, listening following, so I wouldn't really try to fuck with him on that. I'm surprised he didn't bring that up in a video or something. So I have 12 privacy, just... For clarification, I have 12 privacy complaints from Slime Beast, two for Spindling, two to four to Lazy Bedhead, one to TCR. Which one was you and which one was your wife? How many? Oh, I filed them. And she filed them too. I asked how many for each of you. How many did you, you don't do? I fucking know. You don't know. Well, you said you remember filing them towards Slime Beast. Do you remember filing them towards Spindling? One towards him, didn't I? So you no, that was a DMCA. You filed one oh. DMCA towards Spindling, but also apparently he's gotten two privacy complaints. Was that you or your wife? If he's gotten, I don't remember. Probably me. Aren't I known for doing this now? Oh, also somebody sent me out something else that might be relevant to you. Is this all, man? You're no, not no, even not gonna like engage. That, like no, 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 not like that. Sorry. You're just not even getting engaged in the conversation. Do you think this makes you look better or worse? Like I told you earlier, it's in your best interest to like try to take the bigger man approach and not to stoop to people like slime beast level. If uh, I le agree level. with you, but at this yeah. point, I'm I've already saw where it's heading, and it's like the consensus. Do you think is already not decided? At the do end you think? Of this, so. Do you think I'm biased towards you in this conversation? I was just as hard on Cold Raven, who's one of your biggest fucking detractors. No, and I he, do believe you're actually somewhat biased. Yeah, I believe I'm somewhat biased. Are, I, care about. I do, do, I do believe what you said about Cold Raven too. So should I be expect to see my at gone in your description no. of your new video? You don't want to shout out my channel anymore to subscribe? I appreciate the well, shout out I actually. I should see your side of it too because I will give you credit. You have been the most uh, realistic and you've asked the most valid questions. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That's regard, you know what I mean? Like, I, I sincerely mean that. So, so that's part of the reason I jumped on here in the first place. So you're going to keep the shout out? Yeah, I don't see why not. People can do their own independent shit, too. If so they become an idiot after that, that's fine. So, yeah, I think I cleared up whether or not me being biased, because you were parading my name after I made Cold Raven look like a retard. So. But, man, that's, uh, that's basically it. You're not really engaging in these privacy complaints. So I think that's... Basically, all I had for you in this whole document that I wrote down. I did not expect this tonight. <laughs> this, that's the huge this focus of it. What? I'm kind of surprised that was the whole, like, the main focus of it. And some of the other weirder shit got ducked. But, I mean, cool. Um, I confronted you about privacy complaints, DMCA, pedo allegations you've sent to other people, Daisy's destruction, and Discord miners. I feel like those are the hard-hitting, bigger things against you that I wanted to address about you. So, if that's all you want... You have you can make your final statements, and uh, I appreciate you coming on. Yep, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, see you later.
What a complete shit show. I never in my life would have expected him to just fucking completely implode. Holy shit. I knew it would be bad. Because I like did my due diligence, I researched before this discussion. This conversation. I did my like due diligence, but fuck man. Just like the amount of lies straight to my face. I'm making a main channel video on this. We gotta blow this up. Um, expect a main channel video if you're coming very soon to follow up the Mama Max one. This will be um, hopefully pretty big. It's not really the biggest channel. It's not going to be as big as the Mama Max stuff. But holy fuck, man. <laughs> I'm just in shock. Yeah, I'm just in disbelief. Um, I appreciate you guys coming out. Expect a main channel video soon. I'm going to go work on it now. Um, shout out to a Plagued Moth and his wife, Mrs. Moth for uh, having this conversation. What a shit show. I'll uh, see you guys later.